Okay, there is this debate on human-induced global warming. You have the alarmists on one side and the skeptics on the other side. How do you know which side to believe? Well, according to some alarmists, we should use Pascal's wager to determine the answer. Here's how it works. You first draw a big square on a blackboard or a piece of paper, then divide it into four squares. Each of the four squares represents a different scenario. The first scenario is we take action against warming, but there is no warming. The result is an economic depression due to trillions of dollars being wasted on a pure fantasy. The second scenario, we take action, but there is warming. The result, the world is saved. We will still have an economic depression, but let's not mention that. The third scenario, we take no action and there is no warming. The result, we save the economy from disaster. The fourth scenario, we take no action and there is warming. The result, the world ends and we're all going to die! The conclusion is that we must take action or we risk the end of the world! However, take note that there are some assumptions being made. Number one, warming must necessarily cause a global disaster. Number two, mankind is the primary cause. Number three, taking action will have a significant impact. So basically, you must assume what you are trying to prove is true in order to get the conclusion you want using Pascal's wager. We could just as easily assume that there is global cooling and that lack of action to prevent global cooling is too risky. Or we could assume that the action we take, whatever that is, will fail to prevent the climate from changing. Finally, we could assume that any change in the climate will not cause the world to end. We could assume that the world will be better off, for instance. We can create any conclusion we want by simply changing the assumptions we start with. This is why the Pascal's wager argument is so pointless. This is why real science relies on empirical evidence to determine who's right.